Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Seven days God created the heavens and earth. Something I was thinking about when I was out taking my grandchildren to um, school and we're all looking for solutions because we're not looking to stay in the challenges or the problems. We're looking for a way out of no way. And my mind went to Genesis. In the beginning, God created. I think it's important for us to find out who we are. In the midst of everything that we're going through, we tend to focus outside of ourselves rather than focusing within. Yesterday, I began to write on the compass of spirituality. And within that, there is a teaching that I'm putting together. The compass of spirituality is within us. There is an inner director that shows us the way, but if we don't go within and practice the within method of presence, then what will happen? We might miss communication with the divine and we will miss the connections that are necessary. A lot of times people believe that they have the answers to our problems and they will persuade us, you know, as in the money that you need, the work, the profession. People will tell us and we will follow that. And one day that won't work. It could have worked in the past, but one day it's not working anymore more people are telling us people are showing us the way you know you may have had and i may have had way shores but even the apostles were given direction on how to formulate a spiritual life so that the divine would lead them and guide them one of the things i want you to look at is in fact the bible tells us that god created in seven days. Now, sometimes the direction and the understanding of that creation is not understood. A lot of times we are not told that we have to go within in order to create. You see, we manifest from within, even Jeremiah. I've taught this to uh, my Bible uh, class uh, over the years, many, many times because repetitions, repetition makes uh, things more apprehended. You can apprehend things more when you're repetitious in your speaking. So Jeremiah had to go within when God was saying, um, look at the north and look at the east. He wasn't saying outside of him. God was speaking within. Even Moses saw the burning bush within. He did not see a burning bush outside of himself. The burning bush was actually a part of his change, his heart, right? You gotta look within in order to get that. These mysteries begin to come alive. When we go within, the spirit of God begins to uh, show us things that are not shown especially or explicitly in the Bible. There is clues, right? But here, let me go into Genesis. Um, one and it says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and so the earth was without form there was nothingness and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters so when you look at the void there's nothing there this is a time when people have went through um, utter chaos and they're left with it seems like nothing but void is the best time of our lives because this is a time where we are able to recreate or elevate our lives, right? Because there's void, there's nothingness. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. The face of the water has to do with the inner parts of us because there's water within us. In order to uh, create, we have to get... Um, mastery we have to begin to master the emotions which are waters the waters within our body are flowing um god moved upon the face of the waters, so he's moving in the waters of the body um 
For some, this will be hard to ascertain, but the truth of the matter is, is that God wanted to occupy our bodies. So why wouldn't God begin to work and take over our bodies within as we begin to practice the presence of God? Just think about it. And God saw, said, let there be light. And so there was light. Before there was nothing but chaos. There was a void, nothing but darkness. But God began to speak. And who is God really? So we get to this place where we start practicing something that we hadn't practiced. And that means that we're stretching out. We're reaching for more. You can't just stay in a place when nothing is working. If nothing is working, God is compelling us to stretch for more. More what? More spiritual understanding. Because there is no manifestations without your spirituality. There's no manifestation if you do not adapt to or just to look for more. A lot of times we are told or we will be convinced that there is nothing but what we have right here. And that could be for some people because our spiritual journey is different. Remember that because our spiritual journey is different, we have different religions. A lot of people have put um, separation there. But you got to think beyond what you're taught, right? This is, this is how it is. Devil's advocate. The devil actually comes in to help you see that there is more. A lot of people have be, been against the darkness. They've hated the darkness. They've hated their mirroring experiences or shadow experiences. They didn't want to accept that God said in Isaiah 45 that I am the darkness and I am the light. When we get to this place of acceptance, what we find is darkness and light balance each other out. And even here in the scripture, what we don't find is the, the goddess with God. In order for anything to be birthed, there has to be nature and nurture. That is the truth of the matter. Because when you start moving over, the reason why into two and three of Genesis, the reason why God created a woman is because the man got lonely. But before then, the sun and the moon existed. The moon was the darkness that light came out of. Now I want you to go and study because the moon is the darkness that brought forth the light. The moon, when you study, is attributed to the woman. A lot of people don't understand that women have been left out of many things. The patriarch in this system that we have had has allowed woman to be left out because if you don't discover the mysteries and the truth within the woman, then you won't have the package deal of understanding that wholeness is necessary. Wholeness cannot come to pass within a man or a woman without the acceptance of the divine masculine or the divine feminine, whichever one you are um, in need of. And that means that if you are a man that is prideful, patriarch, and you feel like women don't matter, you need to get in touch with your feminine side. If you are a woman that is all about nurturing, you have no understanding of nature, you know, going out there and um, catching a bird, not killing it, or um, looking at Bambi, the deers, not killing it, um, but the men do kill it. So that masculine side of you needs to come alive, okay? So what you have here is a need for us to understand balance because once we are balanced, what we will be able to do is manifest in the beginning, God and the goddess because there's nature versus uh, nurture. Balance, a man cannot create without using his feminine and vice versa. The woman cannot create if she is more um, abundant in femininity. She has to get her masculine side. This is within. And so God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from darkness, light and darkness. Now, the moon and the sun. The moon represents the woman, the goddess. We got to bring her back in. 
because without her, we will not be able to balance life out within ourselves and have happy whole lives because we won't know who we are. Our families and children depend on a mother and father. Therefore, they need to know that in the beginning, there was a Godhead and a God does. Now, email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. Give me your comments. Let me know how you feel and join us at www.wealthyliving org to be a part of what we're doing, helping hands, assisting in the community, building up our brothers and sisters, not tearing them down. Be blessed and have a wonderful day.